Wallace Branch Library 12 Days of Christmas Crafting. My name is Sandra and today's Christmas craft is holiday cupcakes. I got the recipe from NoraCooks.com and also I got the idea to do this recipe from a very good friend of Wallace Branch Library. Thank you for the idea. Also we're going to bake the cupcakes we're going to decorate the cupcakes and we're going to get them ready for uh, giving as a gift. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is preheat our oven to 350. And then we're going to line our muffin pan with our, our liners. Now, we're going to take our soy milk and our apple cider vinegar and we're going to combine the two and we're gonna give that a little whisk so that can curdle. We're gonna whisk that just a little bit and then we're gonna set that to the side while that curdles. Let that set for a few minutes. And next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our flour, put it in our bowl, our sugar, our baking powder and our salt and then we're going to give that a little whisk. Kind of mix that up real good. And then while this is still yet trying to curdle, we're going to take the milk mixture and add it to the, the flour mixture. Then we're gonna add our oil. vanilla and we're gonna give that a little stir we're gonna just stir it long enough to get the large lumps out we're not gonna over stir it we're just gonna stir it good enough to get the large lumps out this is what it looks like so far and I think I got it pretty well mixed together now we just ready to scoop this up and put it into our liner, our muffin liner. And once we fill each one of our cups, we're gonna just go ahead and put it in the oven and we're gonna bake this for about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, this is the cupcake. The vegan cupcake turned out pretty good. They, the, the cake actually rose really pretty. Uh, this is the frosting. It looks very creamy and it tastes very delicious. Um, my son enjoyed it and I thought he would be one of the ones that would really be the first one to not like it. But he really enjoyed it. My daughter liked it as, as well. My husband and haven't tried it yet and I, I think it tastes delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and load my bag. And we're gonna just decorate just a few, uh, just to put them in a box so we can decorate that box and get it ready to give. Okay, here's our first cupcake. Now, when I get my Wilson bag, you choose your kind of tip that you want, and you kind of just lay it at an angle, at an angle, and just kind of put it on however way you want to. It's your cupcake. You get to decorate it however way you want to. Put as little or as much frosting on there as you like. You can put it as high as you like. And there you go. And then I'm gonna put a snowflake in the middle. Yeah. 
again. I think I'll put another snowflake in front of that one. Well, maybe a snowman. That's cupcake number one. We'll get another one. Cupcake number two. I got some colored sugar. I think I'll sprinkle some of the colored sugar on some, put just a little bit of frosting on one. Everybody don't like a whole lot of frosting. And then sprinkle some of the pretty uh, sugar on it. And we're gonna do one more. Put some more frosting on the top. Okay, the first way you can decorate it is by putting it in a cupcake bag or treat bag. You can just take this and roll the bag down and set your cupcake in there. But the cupcake really needs to be cold before you sit it down in here. But I'm gonna go ahead and sit it in here for the sake of the video. And you gather your top. Just remember, if that was cold, the frosting would not come off. Gather it at the top. Put your twist tie on. to decorate and hang your pretty ribbon on there. Uh, the next way is I got a box ready. This is just a silver box. You can get these decorative box from uh, any place mostly. Walmart, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, everybody pretty much have decorative box. But this is one that was just a silver box and I got a ribbon glued on the bottom. And then I went ahead and put me a lining. I got a piece of cardboard and I cut some circles out and then I trimmed it with some uh, metallic uh, cord so that my cupcake can sit down in there.
it is ready. All you got to do is add your name tag, and there's your Christmas gift. Merry Christmas.